we have a, an eight-year-old chocolate lab. I've already done endodontic treatment on um, non-vital upper left canine and lower right canine, and we've done the oral hygiene procedure. And the gums are a little bit oozy from the scaling and polishing. What we're concerned about right now is she had bilateral caries, bacterial decay in her maxillary first molars in these occlusal pits. I've already drilled and filled the one on the upper right, and now we're going to drill and fill this one. It doesn't look like much, but often it doesn't. There's a, a narrow entrance, and then sometimes the defect balloons out below the surface. This little dark spot there, that's just some staining, but no, no decay. But what was the hallmark was when I took a very fine instrument and stuck it in, it's stuck. It's the dentin in there is soft and I can stick an instrument into it. This is the number 15 endodontic file. It's all bent from me pushing on it, but the point is there's soft, mushy dentin in there, so we have decay. So we're going to drill and fill. Starting with the number two round burr. This defect seems pretty shallow, actually. So you can see a white line in the round hole, that groove that may extend a little deeper, so I'm going to drill a bit more of that out. If these lesions go deep and get into the endodontic system, then you have to do root canal treatment first or extract the tooth. There was no sign of that in this case, so to prevent it from getting to that point. And do the drill and fill. Okay, so there's. Okay. I'm going to turn off my headlight. I'm going to try what's known as the quantitative fluorescent light. And I can just see there's a little spot in there that's showing up a little bit darker. And that would indicate more decay. So I've got a little bit more drilling to do. I think I'm happy with that. <laughs> Using an air abrasion technique, basically a, a slurry of sodium bicarb to clean the area. through the various stages of bonding a composite restoration. Thirty seven percent phosphoric acid gel to demineralize the dentin and the enamel. Open up the dentin tubules, let our bonding agent get a gooder a, a better grip. That should sit there for about 10 to 15 seconds, then a thorough rinse. I'm going to dry it so that it's, the 
there's no pooling water, but not desiccated. Each bonding agent comes with its own instructions. You should always familiarize yourself well with the instructions that come with the brand you're using and follow them to the letter. I've dropped down an orange filter over my headlight because this bonding agent is light sensitive, particularly to the blue end of the spectrum. And so the yellow filter over my headlight allows me to watch what I'm doing while not prematurely curing the bonding agent. So put lots and lots of bonding agent in there and sort of scrub it down into the hole. Evaporate the solvents and thin it out. Now the curing light, which is blue, Fill. We don't want, when this dog bites down, we don't want the molar to hit a high point in the restoration. That would be very uncomfortable. If anybody's ever had a high filling, you know what I mean. agent over the, the restoration and the surrounding tooth to fill any little irregularities and create a nice smooth polished finish. curing light that I'm using has a various modes. I'm using the three second mode, but I'm giving it two doses of three seconds for curing. Now I can lift up my orange filter. <coughs> Inspect. Yep, smooth, no catches at the margins. So. That's a drill and fill for a small ca caries lesion and a right, sorry, and a left maxillary first molar in a lab.